Welcome to Elite Automation's YouTube channel. I'm Malachi Greb, CEO of Elite Automation. So I just wanted to make this quick video real quick. This is uh, regarding another video that uh, I have done before, and it is the ProFace and Fanic Ethernet communication setup with, uh, with implicit messaging. I had to read it from over there. And there was a little pro part of the process that I kind of left out. I did like verbally kind of explain what to do, but if this process is missing, then the implicit messaging will not work. So uh, I'm going to put a link down below to the main video, and I'll put a link in that video to this video. But I just wanted to go ahead and jump into this thing. So here we are in the ProFace software, GP Pro EX, that is. And what you want to do is you want to click into here. And the part that was left out is I set up this USR 800, but I did not describe that it needed to be used or maybe I explained that it needed to be used but I didn't kinda really go into how it should be used so you must assign this uh, this control word right here and the control word essentially what it does is it makes this implicit messaging be on or off um, I don't know why you would need to turn it on or off but you definitely do uh, this is one of the hangups I had initially whenever I'd done this thing is I forgot to put the control word in the logic and whenever the control word is not in the logic essentially it just does not run it's off so, here's where you put that control word in at. Now, this control word, I believe, could be whatever you want it to be as long as uh, the space is allocated in your variables. So, I'm going to go into the variables and just kind of show you where it's at. Boom, I already have it highlighted here. So, here's this USR0008, blah, 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 whatever it is. It's a bit address. And I just named it com, uh, com robot enable. And... You could essentially not put it in the logic, and you could just say make it retentive. Or maybe you can't make this retentive, so I take that back. A lot of the other stuff, as you can see here, you can make retentive, and then uh, you maybe not have to put it in the logic. You just put a one in it, make it retentive, and then nothing should ever manipulate it to uh, make it not go true. But uh, it's kind of a scary route to go too, because if something, something does ever make it go false, then that could really be an issue. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and just jump into the logic and uh, show you how basically to make this always true. It's very simple, and almost everybody who's advanced should know how to do this. So basically, you're just going to put it in the logic as a coil, and then you're not going to put any bits in front of it. So that way, as long as the PLC code is running, then your uh, your bit's going to be enabled. It's going to be on. It's going to be true. And that should solve that issue. Now your message instructions should be running uh, and uh, everything should be working properly. So hopefully if uh, hopefully you found this video if you missed the last one and hopefully you go check out that video if you just now checking out this video because that's really the video that has the meat and potatoes of everything of how to set up most of everything. But I did notice this part was missed out other than kind of maybe verbally explaining it a little bit. But I want to visually explain it because you know sometimes people just they don't get what you're trying to lay down. And, and that, that's a very common thing. There's always that video out there that's a really good video, but it's missing this one thing. And I don't want my videos to be one of those things. So, or have one of those things, however you want to call it. But thanks for viewing, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.